Hello guys and welcome to your first x86-64 Linux assembly tutorial. Now, if to follow along with this tutorial, you're going to need a Linux machine that has an x86-64 processor, that is a 64-bit um, processor. So you're going to need a Linux machine. This won't run on Windows. And if you're not sure if you have an x86-64 processor, simply in the Linux terminal type in uname-a and you should see at the end x86-64 GNU slash Linux and that means you're good to go. So in order to start we're going to need an assembler. An assembler is basically a compiler but for assembly and we're going to use the assembler um, NASM. So you want to install this. It's called NASM, the NetWide Assembler. As you can see I've already installed it. So just type in sudo apt get installed NASM if you're running like Ubuntu or Mint or Debian or you're going to have to type in something else uh, for other uh, Linux distributions. So after you install NASM, we can actually start writing our code. So I'm just going to write a simple hello world. So I'm going to create a file called hello.asm on my desktop. As you can see, hello.asm. And this is the file we're going to write our code in. So now I'm not going to explain the code right now. I'll explain it in future videos. But what I'm doing here now, I'm just opening up hello.asm in a text editor, and I'm going to write out the code. So, in a future video, we will explain this, but for now, you could just copy and paste it from the description, or type it along with me. Okay, there we go. This is our code. I'm going to save it. Now, what I'm going to do is, the first thing we need to do is to compile our code. So I'm going to type in nasm-f l64. This is the uh, assembly program format, l64 for 64-bit. Then I'm going to type um, dash o. This is our output file name, and we're going to do hello.o. And then we're going to type our input file name, which is hello.asm. And now that will produce a file called hello.o, and we can't execute a .o file, that's an object file. We have to actually link it using a linker to make it an executable file. So there's this linker built into uh, Linux called uh, ld, and as you can see the GNU linker, and we're going to use this to link the, uh, the object file so we can execute it. So I'm going to type in ld, we're going to type in the input file name, hello.o, dash o and then the output file name which is going to, just going to be hello now as you can see we produced hello and there's no extension on it and it's highlighted um, it's highlighted green that means you can execute it so I want to execute it with dot slash hello as you can see we get hello world so that's it for this tutorial the next tutorials will actually be explaining and taking a deeper look at the hello world code